3D printing or injection molding? How about a little of both? Pete Zielinski, Additive Manufacturing Media. I'm at the Formnext show in Frankfurt, Germany. I'm in AIM3D's booth. AIM3D's voxel fill strategy aims to deal with a known limitation of fused filament fabrication 3D printing, which is the directionality of the strength. Parts 3D printed through that deposition method are stronger in X and Y than they are in Z because of the layering. So the voxel fill approach uses injected material to add Z strength. Parts are printed in a stacked hexagon form. Hexagons kind of stacked on their side with the narrow roof of each hexagon left open so that polymer can be injected inside to fill that space. Voxel fill is a patented technique. AIM3D applies it on its own 3D printers, but it can be applied to other companies' 3D printers as well. Every FFF 3D printer is ready to be an injection molding machine, sort of, because the injection step just requires the extruder to delay over that open space and deliver melted material into that opening. No special hardware adaptation is needed except a nozzle thin enough to reach into that small opening. Uh, the slicer software for this unusual 3D printing method was developed by Create It Real. Here is a sample part that AIM3D made to illustrate. Instead of all one material for both the 3D printing and the injection, this translucent material shows all of the injected fill. AIM3D says that this technique is particularly valuable with reinforced polymer. In deposition style 3D printing, that reinforcement tends to get aligned along X and Y. So the voxel fill strategy adjusts for that. The injected material randomizes the directions of the, the reinforcement, brings Z strength to the 3D printed part.